Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today, as you've seen by the title, we're going to be looking at resolutions. And I'm going to be answering one important question. Are higher resolutions actually worth it? Let's find out. But before we start, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to XFX for supplying me with the R9390X graphics card and their 850 watt modular power supply. I'd also like to thank AOC for loaning me their U286APQU4K monitor. Without them, this series would not be possible, so a huge thank you to both of them and all their links will be down in the description. So let's look at the settings first and you can see all the different resolutions what I've done this testing and you can also see that the settings are exactly the same and the only thing that's different is the resolution. So let's take a look at some screenshots captured from gameplay and you can see there is a massive difference between 4K, 2K and 1080 which is obvious, I'm not making any claims that there isn't any difference, I'm just showing you the difference you can come to expect at playing at different resolutions. So you can see as you step up from 1080, detail and clarity and crispness just improves each one you go up. And that's mostly clear in the background. You can see the text on the uh, thingy in the background is much clearer as you go up. And also Franklin is more detailed as well. So now we're going to look at another sample from GTA again. And again, it's really clear to see the difference between the resolutions. If you look at the number plate mostly, you can just see each time you go up, it is much clearer. And also you can see the trees in the background look nicer rendered on 4K than they do at 1080, which is obvious. I'm, like I said, I'm not saying that each of these resolutions is bad. I'm just showing you the difference between each resolution and like what you said, what you can expect from uh, playing at that quality. And then the last image is a night shot. I thought I'd do one at different because the others have been in a light scenario. But again, it is clear to see the difference between the resolutions, even in a more dark environment. If you look particular at the building in the background, you can see as you go up the resolutions, the text becomes clearer and it's much easier to read in this low light situation. Also, if you look in the windows and the building to the left, you can see more detail there as well. And it's just much sharper as you progress up the resolutions. So now what we're looking at is a recording from the GTA benchmarking suite. And I thought I'd do this because it's pretty similar each time you do it. And there's no sort of variations like there is in gameplay. It's really hard to capture the same thing three times over. So I thought with it being a benchmark, it's quite easy to sort of get it exactly the same. So you can see the difference between each one at each point. And obviously looking at the different resolutions, we're not looking at numbers here at all, we're looking at the quality. And it is really clear that 4K does look nicer than 2K and 1080, which like I've been saying throughout this video, it is obvious that this is going to look better. But if you actually pay more close attention to the 2K and 1080, the quality is still fantastic there as well. So do you actually really need that 4K? Yeah, it's uh, just one of those things. I mean, technically I play at 2K because I think it's a great balance between quality and performance. 4K, you're going to be needing some good hardware to push it properly and play it properly. That's why I think 2K is the perfect balance. Like I said, you get that performance, but you also get nice visuals as well. Right guys, so now you've seen the difference in resolution and obviously 4K is going to look better than 2K and 1080. Even though they still look fantastic, it's obvious that 4k looks better i just wanted to show you the difference you could come to expect from playing at each resolution but what we're going to do next is talk about the most probably important factor about which resolution you will play at and that is cost so i've uh, done a couple of sample builds and we're going to see how much money it could potentially cost you to get each resolution so 1080 2k and 4k and we're just going to give you a rough estimate of how much it will cost now remember prices fluctuate like crazy especially pc stuff for some reason so one day this build might be one price the next day it will be something else and so on and so forth so this is just a rough estimate of how much this could potentially cost you so let's take a look so let's look at a decent 1080p gaming system so I went AMD for this one with the FX6300 and obviously that dictates what else you buy. Then you'll need a CPU cooler and one for this, a decent one, is about £28. An AM3 motherboard, you're talking around 60 quid UK. RAM, 
about 30 quid for 8 gig I think it is plenty for 1080p uh, SSD for gaming from and your operating system about 50 quid not too expensive now your graphics card GTX 950 or 9370 about 130 pound uh, hard drive for storage so for storing other games that you don't play on as much or other stuff about 40 pound a case pretty much whatever you want but I think about 50 pound is a decent amount and the power supply you're going to need a 500 watt if that and they're about 40 pound then a monitor you can pick a good 1080p monitor up for a hundred pound which I think is really fantastic and if you look on Amazon you can get some great ones for like I said around a hundred pound so the total cost for this build is £592. Now you can spend more or you can spend less and you probably get components at different prices and they fluctuate all the time. But you're going to be spending £500 definitely plus on a good system that can do 1080p very well. So next up we're looking at a decent 1440p or 2k gaming system. So here I've gone with the i5-6600k. So next you're going to need a CPU cooler and you can pick one up for around £30 that's compatible with Skylake and that will give you some decent performance. And you're going to need a motherboard, so about £100 for a decent one. RAM, you can pick that up 60 quid now for 16 gig, which I've got and it works perfect for 2K. Graphics card, GTX 970 or R9390, about £250, so not too expensive. Again, you can probably get away with the same hard drive as before, so 250 gig SSD, about 50 quid. PSU, about a 750 watt, I've, that's what I'm using at the minute, and it's fantastic. Powers my system, no issues whatsoever. Hard drive, again, pretty much the same, one terabyte. You don't really need to spend massive amounts just for storage. And then same again for case, you can pretty much spend as much or as little as you want to. Monitors, you're going to be spending around £200 for a decent 2K one. Probably a lot more if you're going to be wanting a higher refresh rate one or ones with different specifications. But I think around £200 you can get a good 2K monitor. So for this 2K build, you're going to be talking, you're going to be spending around about £1,000 which is a lot of money but you're going to be able to game at 2k 1440p and you're going to get some good frame rates and some nice visuals as well so that's what you could come to expect obviously you can spend more you can spend less depending on what components you buy so now we're talking 4k which is obviously going to be more expensive but how much more so the cpu is i7 6700k and that's probably one of the least ones you're going to get and get 4k good so cpu cooler next and we're talking around 60 pound for one that's compatible with this version of intel and it'll also give you great cooling performance it's the one i use and it performs fantastic again you can spend around about 100 pound on the motherboard same again ram you don't need that much graphics card is where you're going to be spending a lot of your budget and the GTX 1080 at the moment is the best card you can pick up for, for 4k the best single card at least and that's going to cost you 600 pound plus so be prepared to spend a lot of money on a graphics card power supply again you only need around a 750 watt because the new GTX cards are really power efficient so you don't need a massive power supply again same with the hard drives 250 gig SSD, terabyte, perfectly fine for gaming at 4K. Case, again, you can spend as little or as much as you want to. 4K monitors, I actually found a few for around £300. And again, depending on if you want a gaming one or a productivity one, you're going to be spending either a little bit less or a little bit more. But around £280 is what you can come to expect from this. So all this will cost you £1,639 for this one. You can spend more or less depending on which components you go for. But you're going to be spending above £1,500 to get a good 4K system that can play 4K games decently. Now you're still probably going to struggle with some more intense titles because 4K is still so demanding. But this is going to be a good system to get you started on 4K. Right guys, so now you've seen the resolutions and you've seen how much the builds are going to cost potentially. Are high resolutions actually worth it? 
Well, if you can afford to pay £1,600 for a 4K setup, then why not? I mean, it looks nice, and if you've got that cash to get the hardware, then why not play it 4K? I think the perfect middle ground at around £1,000 is 2K, and you can get a really nice gaming system and a really nice monitor for around £1,000. And I think 2K is the perfect resolution, it's what I play at, and you don't need that sort of intense hardware to get 2K nowadays. 1080p is still perfectly fine though and I still think 1080p looks really great, especially if you've got the hardware to push it to ultra settings and high settings, it still looks fantastic. Plus it's like half the price of a 2K setup so yeah I guess our high resolution's worth it. Well if you can afford to spend it then yes, if you can't then I would say no. 1080p is still perfectly fine but obviously the higher resolution you go the better it looks. But obviously it's going to be more expensive so I guess it's what you can comfortably afford now I could comfortably afford the system I've got so and everybody's budget's different so just work out what you can comfortably afford and you're not going to sort of get yourself into financial trouble and then see <clears throat> and then that will give you an idea of what resolution you can come to expect to play at right guys so that is pretty much it for this video if you've got any questions about this video or anything else, then the comment section is the place to be. And I'd also love to hear what resolutions you sort of game and watch media in as well. So leave that in the comments as well if you want to. So thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you all on the very next one.